it. Oh yeah. You should call, call it the SmackDown. Everybody gets screwed. Yeah, this pretty much is screwed SmackDown. And the reason why I wasn't on recap for Monday is I caught that bug that's been going around. Yeah. Practically rented out that bathroom the whole night. Yeah. But anyways. Well, speaking of the bathroom things, that's what basically tonight's episode of SmackDown ended up being. Yeah. Just a huge steaming load. Pretty much it wasn't. It was fucking yeah. screwed. Screwed, screwed, screwed. Let's see, what started off is just. Is um, The Miz. He's retorting what uh, Shane McMahon said, saying that they're going to have their match at WrestleMania. Saying that he earned his uh his moments even though that he did cut quarters and stuff he's earned it shame uh, shane mcmahon is a coward and he should have listened to everybody saying that because shane will stab him in the back yeah i mean everything he did he earned it mm. yep obviously so let's go to our first match it's actually a women's tag team match yeah between the iconics and uh, Boss name. Hug Connection. Yeah. They couldn't go with any other names. They did what their thing is. Yeah. Boss Hug Connection. Yeah, because she's always boss time and she's always likes to get free hugs. So. And during the match, we have a little intro with Lacey Evans again. <sighs> no, that's in the middle. And because of that, the Iconics actually pull a win. Yep. But I like some favor up, of course. Yeah, but the Iconics now can challenge them for titles. Now they match. can, they got no more contender. Yeah, they they come. No, th it's kind of dumb because Bailey and Sasha made an open challenge before, saying that we'll fight anybody. Okay, you point that out. That means your title should be on the line instantly. Nobody has to uh, wait in line. So, the Iconics calling them out should have ma made this an actual title fight. And the Iconics should have taken those titles right away. Why didn't they do it? Because freaking SmackDown would have the titles and then Sasha would be bitching around the thing and Bailey would not stop hugging everybody in Raw. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when Mysterio with Dominique backstage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's excited for his match at Wrestlemania against Samoa Joe for the title. Yeah. He wanted to show, um, he wanted to bring Dominic to tell him that he's gonna have a match at Wrestlemania for a U.S. title and Dominic's happy. And Dominic's mm -hmm. gonna be in the front row. So. Okay, he's pretty much a bully. So. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. teach the bully a lesson. Then, we have the return of the Kevin Owens show. With Charlotte and Becky. Yeah. And the whole entire ma the whole entire night, everybody's wishing Kofi Kingston luck. Even Kevin mm -hmm. Owens is saying Kofi deserves it. And during the whole time, the two are going back the two are going back and forth with their little uh, one shots out of their mouths and Charlotte's saying she's gonna beat the holy hell out of Becky, and then Kevin Owens is like, Becky, your response, and then uh, Kevin Owens gets out of the ring and says, go ahead, and then Becky just hits Charlotte with the uh, microphone. Yeah. Yep. They go at it for almost the entire ring until security gets pulled them out. Smackdown makes me yawn. Well, the Smackdown, because, because, and then the rest of the match, the rest of the night, is called the Kofi Kingston a Gauntlet match. Well, and then AJ Styles interview. Well, does the AJ Styles interview really count? It's just him saying he's going to burn down the house that Randy Orton built. Yeah. And then um, Dana Bryan came out talking with Rome before for the Gauntlet match. Yeah, he's saying Kofi doesn't deserve it. Yeah. And then uh, Kofi comes out with the um, first match of the Gauntlet. Which... It's the bar. Yeah, Sheamus starts off first. Kofi wins. He gives him the, um... Trouble in Paradise. Yeah, that's his kick. And then he pins him. No. Cesaro goes in. He ends up uh, pinning Cesaro. 
Then comes um, yeah, Rowan. Did, he did an SOS to Zoro. Rowan comes in, and Rowan ends up disqualifying himself by hitting um, Kofi with a chair. Mm -hmm. Then he starts tossing Kofi around outside the ring. He ends up giving him the iron hook, which is basically a choke slam, but not around the throat. It's just around the face, yeah. onto the table. Then we have Samoa Joe come in. Flubbable. Yep. But here's the thing. Kofi actually beats Samoa Joe. Yeah. Gives him a roll-up. Yeah, it's he like a folding press pin. Then, the final person he had to fight was Randy, Randy Orton. Orton the Viper. Oh, yeah. And he actually won. He pinned Randy. Yep, so he's, everyone's like all excited. They all say, yeah, he's going to WrestleMania. Then this McMahon yeah. shows up and says, you did great, great kid, but it's not good enough. You gotta face one more person, and then you get to go to WrestleMania, and it was Daniel Bryan. Yep. Daniel. And it was like five minutes left. And yeah. Daniel Bryan just does the running knee, or the running kick, and beats Kofi. So yeah. Kofi's WrestleMania moment is done. Yeah, pretty much. He's yeah. like, yes, yes, and then the running knee. Yep. Yeah, so but... Up. So pretty much Kofi got screwed. Again. Yep. Well, until next week, till we can find out if there's another well, loophole. We'll see if um. I don't see why Kofi just doesn't sue WWE yeah. for um. What do you think? What do you think of the mountains and mountains of lawsuit things that they could have done? What is it? Unfair work. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the dog's wearing a sweater. <laughs> a pink sweater. Well, think about it. This is a crappy job thing, like, basically, they are, like, throwing roadblocks at him. Yeah, pretty much. They're changing the deal. This is basically, the, um, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Yeah, Darth, Darth McMahon over here is changing the deal. <laughs> I mean... Oh, Kofi Calrissian. I mean, yeah... What did you think of the SmackDown? I mean, I thought it was. Uh, it was okay. I mean, it bites. Yeah, we got screwed. That's the that's, whole point. That's it's the just main, to get that's everybody. That's the main thing of SmackDown. Kofi got screwed. Well, he, well, the reason they're screwing Kofi is because they want it to hype it up. They want us to be like, it's dumb and stuff. But I have a feeling they're going to try to keep doing it until WrestleMania. And then he'll get it. I have that feeling. Yeah, Kofi wins. He's gonna win at WrestleMania. We already put it's it's already standard, whatever. Like it, it, it's a predictable yeah. at this point. You watch wrestling for a while, you see the patterns, and then you be like, okay, well, then what's the point of watching? You know what's going on. You know what's going to happen before it happens. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So this was this week of SmackDown. Yeah. Wonder what's gonna be for next week. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe Kofi will finally get his chance, or does he get screwed again? Yeah, I'd rather watch NXT tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, NXT is a little. Better. NXT does not fall within the bull crap of Raw or SmackDown, even though it's only an hour long and you have so little guys. At least it's way more entertaining. So, yeah, this is the. There's nothing much to say, though. Yeah. Really. Honestly, I will take a pass at WrestleMania. I'd rather watch NXT TakeOver on the Saturday. So, um... Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. and subscribe. You cut me off! <laughs> I wanted to do that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye. And hey. we're back! With another week of video, oh, 205. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this, this week of 205 Live oh, man. starts off with Mike Canales. Oh, boy. And Maria Canales. Whoa. Of course, Maria Canales is just pretty much saying that Mike is going to prove all of us idiots wrong. That he's going to be good. He's going to show... Us, us that he can do it, Drake that he can do it, um, and the top star that Drake put against Mike, 
do it. Mm -hmm. And Alchem secured Tawaza. They actually had a good match. They had a good match. But, of course, Mike and Nellis wins. Hmm, okay. I wonder. Akira was going to go on top on the top rope in the one corner to do his one vision remove and Mariah Canales goes to that corner and goes distraction distraction and then Kira goes Ugh, and then goes to the other side to do it and when he, if he does it Mike gets his knees up and counters him and he does like a DDT, so. Yeah. Mike and Alice won. And they're all happy. Yay! Because they cheated. Yay! <laughs> Can't do it right. No, of course not. And then there was an interview with Cedric. And he just pretty. <laughs> oh, of course. I call him Big Bug Eyes. <laughs> and he's just pretty much telling him that he's feel confident. He feels like he's gonna have this WrestleMania moment. And then out comes Murphy and Nice and rolling up to him. And Tony Nice is just pretty much saying about we win some, we lose some. Um, and Murphy talked about um, how he won against him for the title. And then Cedric's like, um, I don't think, I don't think you think Nice can win. And then he walks away, and Tony just acts like it's all good, and walks away. Mm -hmm. And then that's the next match. So it's Tony Nice for Cedric Alexander. Yep. Of uh, the finals. Checker. For the cruiserweight title. Oh yeah. Now this was an awesome match. Oh yeah. They both showed that Ooh. they want this. Yep, a lot of effort. Especially at the ending of the match, like. But, of course, um, Tony needs to, like, two, like, two running knees type things on Cedric Alexander, so, yeah, he's number one contender, so, yeah. And, of course, after that, Cedric shares a moment, and shakes him, and he goes, you, you're good, yeah, you're good. And then while he's celebrating, here comes Buddy Murphy. Oh boy, Toothpick's boyfriend. To raise his hand. And he's doing his also raising. Mm -hmm. And then why uh Tony is not paying attention to him, he uh he faces off. Yep. And Buddy poses over t Tony Nice with the title. So Yeah. That's how, uh, 205 ended. Yeah. I mean, oh man. If I had to pick, I would probably want Tony Nice to win. He deserves it. Yeah. So, Tony Nice, I pick at WrestleMania. Yeah. I do. I pick Tony Nice. Buddy Murphy doesn't need it anymore. Ab Checker needs it. Oh. But, I mean, I have a show for, I mean... I'm, Tony Nice might get his WrestleMania because WrestleMania is about moments. So, yeah. So, Tony Nice actually might win. He might be a new Cruiserweight champion. Yeah. We'll so, see. yeah. And then they made a ta six man tag team for next week Lucha Lucha, Lucha. House Party. Yeah. First, Drew Gulak. Jack Alher and Humberto Carrillo. And Humberto, I'm sorry, but you're so dumb. <laughs> she thinks you're dumb, Humberto. You should not be with them. Especially that freaking weirdo with his socks. <laughs> she thinks Jack Alher has worse socks. Weird. Uh, um, of course, you probably want Lucha House for you. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely, because... I mean, come on, he probably has his, um, besides his socks being all the way up, he probably has his underwear all the way up. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if it was. But, let's see. Um, how did you feel about this week of 205 Live? I thought it was an uh, alright. I mean, I like the finals, final main event match. 
Yeah, because that, that um, was intense. That makes her now's match. Yeah, I don't care for that match. Yeah, especially with his hair now gone. Yeah, he had a shaved hair, so he had a haircut. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really nothing else. So. What did you like about it? Yeah, what did you? Let us know. I like to yeah. hear. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.